Today we're gonna look, take a look at a cool jacket and flannel and see how it handles 11 degree weather. All right, so it is 11 degrees and snowing in beautiful Colorado. And Tommy the trail dog and I are about to hit a quick walk and talk about some gear. And uh, enjoying a walk with Tommy the trail dog. He's doing great. And uh, doing a quick walk. Uh, we're gonna go probably about 15 minutes outside. Um, a little under a mile walk out in 11 degree weather. Uh, a little bit of snow. And I wanna talk to you about two uh, products that uh, I've never tested out before for you guys. I've been using um, the jacket, the cool burr jacket for about two seasons now. It might, it might be three, two, definitely two. Uh, and then having had several months now with the fugitive uh, flannel shirt from cool and they are an amazing combo for around town uh, these are not items that i would necessarily wear in the backcountry camping hiking you know, doing that type of thing um, they're just not really designed for that but for around town going to the office day out with family holidays it's holiday season it's uh, new year's eve when i'm filming this 2018 into 2019 uh, it, it's phenomenal. I, I wear them to the office all the time, work. These are great, and particularly in these type of conditions. So I'm just gonna hit a couple basic specs with you guys, show you what these have to offer, and also point you towards backcountry.com because Cool is not available on Amazon, and they're kind of tricky to get your hands on. So backcountry.com does sell these, and uh, the Burr jacket is gonna be about 120 average going rate. They do have an insulated kind of like fleece lined version or, or even not fleece, this one's fleece, but it's it's more insulated. Uh, that one's about 150, I believe. And then the Fugitive shirt is gonna be about $75. So cool products are expensive, but man, are they worth it because they always fit me well and they really provide a level of performance that I don't normally get out of cheaper products. Okay, so upon trying to read specs off and talk about the product and walk a dog in 11 degrees all at the same time, just didn't quite work. So we're gonna do the rest of the specs and kind of um, details of these two clothing items from Cool back here in the backyard. It's much warmer today, which is a big positive, but I felt really nice and comfy in those items as we were doing the walk. And we'll come back to that walk here at the end to wrap up this video. But I wanna just give you some basic details in the overall uh, feel, design, my body size, and why again this burr is connecting with me on such a level. The first is that I am 6'2", I weigh about 215, and I have longer arms than usual. There are several brands and companies out there that the, the sleeves are just too short or the shoulders are just a little too tight. This cool burr offers both the length that I'm looking for in the large, I'm wearing a large size jacket here, uh, but also in the mobility, even with the fugitive flannel underneath or a thicker sweater or something like that to really give me extra layers on top of this and using this sometimes as a shell as I did in the walk in 11 degrees that you saw at the beginning. And this is cut as a hip length jacket. So what I would say to you is if you're a person that tends to find jackets in particular either too short for you, you know, they don't go long enough, uh, or too short in the sleeves or too tight in the shoulders, the cool jacket will probably fit your needs in whatever regular size you would regularly be wearing. I wear larges in all of my coats and jackets 90% of the time. All right, so I'm gonna zip this up on YKK zippers and all the zippers will be YKK. You can see it's kind of that metal old style. I like that style of the jacket as well. Very Indiana Jones feel to it, just to give you a good size there it doesn't feel too poofy which is also a really good thing just to kind of give you a good uh, profile there uh, so we got a full cotton exterior with that real good i mean this thing whatever they've coated it with and i'll try and annotate it in if there's some term that they have for it blocks that wind like crazy so this is a great wind blocker and then uh as well as just you know holding um and repelling moisture for a short period of time there's closer in there on that ykk zipper that runs real nice we do have that zipper cover all the way up with that real nice full collar there gives me a really good blockage there if i need to in those colder conditions then i do have that real generous chest pocket here that's fleece lined so you could put your cell phones and wallets and those type of things in there and we do have those pockets on either side that are going to be zippered up and down and are fleece lined 
and are nice and generous. Then we do have that double snap adjustment there and a closed gap right here to keep all that heat in, which is really nice. Then as we go to the interior here, we have a micro fleece liner inside here that really helps to retain the heat, give you that really good warmth on the main body. And then they have, I believe they call it Splendex, I believe, um, nylon in the sleeves to give it that nice feel, similar to what you'd have like in a sports coat uh, in the on the arms as well. But all of those working together to got, give you an amazing uh, blockage against wind and the elements, but also keeping the heat in at a level that I really wasn't expecting for how thin the overall coat is. Meaning that for me, the Cool Burr has been a phenomenal kind of do everything casual jacket for me. Regardless if I need to go walk the dog real quick in 11 degree weather, go to the office for a meeting or anything in between, going to a nice meal out, you name it, this thing really works well and gives off not only the performance that I look for always, so I gotta say, I'm super impressed with what Cool has been producing with this burr. And then again, you can look for the insulated version as well that's out there in certain sites. And I believe Backcountry uh, does have it that you can check out as well if you wanna go with something that's even warmer. But for me, even in that 11 degrees with the flannel that we're about to take a look at here in just a moment, was totally comfortable for that you know, 15, 20 minute walk that I took with a beanie and some gloves on. Okay, we're gonna bounce to the fugitive now and uh, just wanna give you, again, a size frame of reference, how it's fitting, fits me very well, which is always a big plus and something I'm looking for. I gotta have a lot of mobility in my shoulders as well as in my wrist length and it offers me both of that when it's buttoned up, which is a big positive since I do have those broader shoulders and longer arms than average. Now it's 57% cotton and then it's 43% tensile. So that's a really good blend. And I really like that fact that's not just 100% cotton. It gives a good breathability. I would say that this is a light to medium weight flannel. It's not on the thicker side, but it will retain relatively well the heat as well as block some light wind. So it does have a cool signature metal buttons here. They're not snaps, they are in fact buttons. Uh, I do have enough that if I was some sort of hipster, I could get enough motion around. It doesn't feel like the shirt is choking me. It will have two cuffed adjustments as well as that secondary button down there so you can roll the sleeves up if you like. Two chest pockets that are just dump. They don't have a flap and a button in the middle. I think that's kind of redundant and a little silly. I would have preferred to have a flap there. That would be my only real critique with the whole shirt. Now, unlike most flannel shirts, it does have one inside pocket here that perfectly fits my wallet. So that is a little bonus right there inside if you want to keep stuff a little bit more secure. And finally, we'll come in three different colors, two of which I own. And to really dial in and hone in why I like this flannel shirt so much, why I'm reviewing it for you, is that I own three flannel shirts in my entire collection. All three of them are cool. One of them I believe is the Lowdown, which is Cool's old version basically of this to my knowledge. I don't think they make the Lowdown anymore. It's only on clearance in certain areas. That is a great shirt. Uh, a little bit heavier in what did and was a little more form fitting. This one is a little bit looser, gives me a little more flexibility, and there's just a little aspects to it that I like even more. But I have access to all kinds of flannel shirts. Name the company, I could get them, and so far, for the price to value to performance, these cool uh, fugitive shirts are the ones that I have landed on and have been using for the winter of 2018 through 2019. So I really, really enjoy cool flannels and particularly this fugitive line. Well, folks, we're coming to the end of this uh, quick little video. I hope it's been informative, helped you guys out, show you what cool is making, particularly with the fugitive and the burr. And if you're in colder environments, check out the insulated version of the burr. But I love these two products, particularly for around town, because you're gonna look good, you're gonna feel good, and they're gonna perform and uh, really give you the, the warmth, the flexibility, the mo mo movability, mobility that you are looking for. So appreciate it uh, for coming over here today. Again, check out those backcountry.com uh, links if you're interested in cool products in general. I have several other cool products that I love that we'll be taking looks at in the near future. And uh, check us out on Instagram, Facebook, all the social media. And finally, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.